Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you like our content, please press like button, it really help us. And if you need video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. Relays are important part of instrumentation and control. So, I have decided to make one small video on relay operations. In this video, you will learn. What is a relay? How to identify relay symbol, and what is the nominal coil voltage range for relay? You will also learn, different types of relay. And last but not least, I am going to explain, how relay operates in energized condition. So, please watch this video till the end. Let's start with one basic question, which is, what is a relay? A relay is a simple electromechanical switch that open and close the circuit by receiving electrical signals from outside sources. When an electromechanical relay is activated by electrical signal, current passes through a coil of wire. This creates a magnetic field which attracts a steel armature. The metal armature is attracted to the magnetized coil. As a result, the common contact on the end of the armature moves to a different set of output contacts. As you can see, this is typical symbols for an electrical coil in a relay or solenoid. Symbols for relays and coils are not as well standardized as for many electronic components. The coils of electromechanical relays have a nominal voltage. Common coil voltages are, 5, 6, 12, 24, and 48 volt DC, and 12, 24, 48, and 120 volt AC. There are mainly two types of relay. First type of relay is monostable relay. In monostable relay, the armature returns to the denergized position when the coil voltage is removed. Second type of relay is bistable relay. In bistable relay, the armature does not return to denergized position when the coil voltage is removed. In other words, relay is latched on and need another signal to reset the relay. In this section, I am going to explain the relay operation of single pole single throw relay and double pole double throw relay. First of all, let's start with denergized state of relay. As we already know, in relay, the common contacts is attached to the armature, and it moves between the output contacts, when the armature moves. In denergized state, with no voltage applied to the coil, there is continuity between the common and normally closed contacts. And there is no continuity between the common and normally open contacts. This state of relay is known as normal state or denergized state. When the coil is energized, or when an appropriate voltage is applied to the coil, there is no continuity between the common and normally closed contacts. And there is continuity between the common and normally open contacts. This state of relay is known as energized state. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. Please tell us your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me your questions in comment box. And please like and share this video with your friends, if you think our content is informative for you and others.